Hi, uh, welcome to another week of vlogging. I don't really know what this week will entail. I don't know if this will even be interesting or if I'll even edit it up because you've already seen one vlog of the week and it's just like so disjointed. I don't know if it's possible for me to produce good vlog content right now just because I'm in a completely new environment and there's so many people doing like important work things every day and like I don't want to disturb or like blast people onto the internet that maybe don't necessarily want to be there so I'm just trying to work that out as an experience um but I'm still gonna vlog right now because you never know it might actually be fine so it is Monday I have been doing some kind of work not work I just did some email stuff did some account stuff for some reason I'm doing loads of accounting stuff recently and um I also did an order of some cult beauty bits because there's a particular video I want to film. I don't know if I'm gonna get to do it now, but I'll hopefully get to do it in the next month or two. And also just topping up, I have like an It Cosmetics foundation that I wanna top up on. I haven't had it for years and I love that foundation. I think that's my next step because I'm now out of my Milk Makeup Skin Sunshine Skin Tint, which is my favorite, but you can't buy it in the UK. This is like the week of many calls. I have a call every single night this week and three of them are quizzes. <laughs> and I think we just have a lot of nice plans. Tonight is Ike's birthday uh, quiz. We were gonna go do junkyard golf with him, which is like crazy golf, but obviously that has been postponed. So we're hosting an Ike themed pub quiz tonight. So that'll be fun. Um, we all have to dress up as well. I think I'm gonna film a chat and get ready with me to talk all about all the thoughts I've had in lockdown. But one of the things that I've been experiencing let's say is thoughts around food have become like so much more prominent than they ever have been before I think because of the fear of gaining weight um which unfortunately is a hangover basically from disordered eating and like I'm so grateful for my dinners being cooked for because we all eat together at dinner time but it does like remove a sense of control so I'm really trying to like reframe the way I think about food and about weight gain and that's been like oh, a whole thing. I normally don't talk this much at the beginning of a video so I hope it's not annoying. I know ultimately it doesn't matter how my videos are doing individually but I made a video last week and shared a video last week called like makeup tips for video calls and it just hasn't done very well and it always is a little bit disheartening it makes me think maybe I shouldn't make beauty and skincare videos but I love making stuff about beauty and skincare because it's one of my like like hobbies and like passions so I'm a bit like, oh god, a chat, get ready with me. Are people just gonna be like, fuck that? But hopefully they don't. Oh my god, that's like 16 thoughts in one. On my top half, as you can see, I have this ribbed polo neck, but it's really nice and um, just functional and good and warm as well. And then I have my necklaces from Misoma, and then I have my earrings from Under the Stories, which I really love. I wear these all the time at the moment. This is our not particularly tidy hallway area. One of my tasks for this week is going to be to clear this up because it just, it just gathers stuff, it's where we dry clothes. And then on my bottom half, I'm just wearing these trousers. They're from Stalf, they're the lightweight linen uh, cocoon trouser. And they are just so comfy and good for when I'm sitting on my laptop all day, which is what I'm doing today, editing and yeah, Whew, fun. Good evening. We are doing a pub quiz for Ike's birthday. So we're doing a fancy dress pub quiz and I am Jack. I'm wearing his hat, his jacket and his jumper. This is Jules. Actually it's Sam. So she's wearing a Huel top and um, his plexal card, which I probably should cover. Yeah. <laughs> and this is Josh, he's our other teammate. And Josh is, well, who are you? I'm a golfer. A golfer. Obviously. Yeah, we're all a team. We have to sit in a separate room from Sam. He is the, what's, what's Sam's role? Sam is quiz the master. quiz master. The quiz master. And then we've got um, Jack and Connor downstairs.
mind shot, mind focus. A bigger question. I just had a call with Clarissa from ACAST, who is lovely. And what else have I done? Oh, I've got hair in my mouth. And I've spent all day editing my video, which I want to put up tonight. I've still got probably a couple more hours work on it. And it's five o'clock, so we will see. I don't know what I've done with my hair. I've just, just like whacked up in a thing. Today hasn't really had anything to report. I've just been editing and I had a meeting and we're having a ragu tonight, which I'm very excited for. And then I don't have anything else to say. I think this is kind of, wait, let me put you down. I think it's interesting in lockdown because there isn't that much interesting stuff. So I tend to have like one thing a day that I'm looking forward to and that keeps me going, do you know what I mean? Obviously keeps me going sounds a bit bleak, but like something to get excited for. So I want to finish reading uh, the Rihanna British Vogue May edition, which I bought the other day. And I think that's what I'm looking forward to today and also publishing my video. And then yesterday was the pub quiz and I don't know about tomorrow, <laughs> but um, I'm sure something will come up. And then on Thursday, I'm probably walking nowhere again. So there's little things in each day that warm my cold little heart and make this whole experience just like generally more mentally manageable. But it does involve like having stimul stimuli. So like Spyro has been so good for that. There's always something at 6 p.m. that I have to look forward to because I want to do it every day. And then reading for example I was really excited to finish such a fun age and I got to do that and like lounge about on a Sunday and like read a book or like baking the cookies stuff like that just keeps me like on form oh my god I remember tonight I have another quiz um I'm talking to the girl gang tonight so it's Lan, Jose, Ellen and Molly and we're doing a quiz that Lan has put together that might be to do with us because she was like I need to know who's coming so I don't know. Today hasn't been much fun. I just feel very like cooped up and I haven't exercised or really gone for a walk this week. So I think tomorrow I'm gonna try and get up a bit early and spin. Or I can, I just hate running. I don't really wanna run. Also, do you like my completely beige Pope outfit today? Look, my trousers are beige. All of me is beige. I think it reflects my mood. I've been in such a foul mood today. Woo, quiz master Lan, Jose on the cup of tea, Molly after her evening shower and <laughs> me. Ready for a quiz. Okay, thanks everyone. Woo! Question six. What is the real name of Netflix Tiger King? Oh, fuck. I haven't watched it. I haven't either. Oh my god, Lana, this is so good. I'm really questioning what I actually want from life. Who said that? <laughs> Study deep. Question three. Was mid existential crisis when CoStar decided to pop up and rub it in? Who said that? These are so good. Question four. Prosecco, red wine, Bailey's equals Xmas, personally. Who said that? absolutely foul me today and I think it's because I forgot to take my pill last night I take it in the evenings at the moment which again I don't know if that's bad for me because then I go and lie down for I don't know 10 hours I don't know if that's really bad for like blood clots and circulation and stuff anyway I'm just in a shit mood today I think also because I plan to film and like shoot content this morning um but I just feel really like stuck because it feels like I feel just so displaced here. I feel like, like visually, like what the fuck can I do <laughs> about like, where can I shoot stuff when it just doesn't look like a space I would shoot in. Like there isn't a corner that I would be like, oh yes, that's pretty, that makes sense. Like it just doesn't feel like that at all. There's only so many mirror selfies and product shots you can really take on bedding before it's, I don't know, just feels like redundant and boring. But yeah, I just feel a bit like, oh what am i doing so that's a nice positive start to the vlog so yeah i feel like today might be a bit of a write-off in terms of self-motivated work i got a call with my manager later today so i'll be doing that 
and obviously I'm doing like emails and planning and stuff but I'm not doing like I don't know I, I consider it like my real work like my creative work my self-motivated work I don't think that's gonna be happening today really I shot an Instagram post but like it'd be cool if I like actually wanted to take photos of something yeah I think today I'm just angry and annoyed at the world in other news it is 20 degrees which is very nice and I am wearing my favorite t-shirt t-shirt my favorite top from summer last year which is this guy and I brought it back out for my spring capsule wardrobe which uh, I filmed but I filmed it just as everything happened corona wise and it just felt like wrong to upload then but also like, I feel weird to upload now I don't know why it's just not a video I'm particularly happy with and I can't really improve it because I'm out of that space now and I didn't end it properly because I had a plan to like add extra bits to it and I can't film those now so sorry <laughs> there won't be a spring capture wardrobe video for the first time in maybe three years I won't have a vid about my wardrobe seasonally which is very strange summer is coming when summer comes you'll get a bulk episode I might write a blog post maybe I'll write a blog post about how I'm feeling there's another dynamic to this which is that I normally shoot my blog photos on film at the moment it's just how I feel most creative and most fulfilled and a lot of those are out of the house and I have not got my film camera out once since I got here and I can't get any film processed anyway so I feel like I'm just waiting until that opportunity reopens. I don't know, I love the challenge that Instagram provides, especially as it wasn't my original platform. It's not something I'm naturally that gifted at, but I do kind of wish I just <laughs> was better at it. Maybe today is for something different. Maybe today is for me to book a photography course, um, which I've been thinking about doing for a while, doing an online photography course. So maybe I'll book that and I'll buy a camera that I've been wanting to buy for ages. It's a digital camera that my friend Georgie uses and it's really good. And I'll just do that and I'll feel better. <laughs> for these vlogs, I shoot on a Sony RX100, which used to be like top of the range, great vlog camera, but this is from 2015, it's now 2020. I should really upgrade both my vlogging camera and like have a portable camera to shoot on digitally because otherwise I've only got this guy. This is my Canon 70D. Again, I got this in 2016 with this lens, which is the 18 to 35 mil, which this is what I shoot all my vlogs on. And then <laughs> if you can see down here, I have a gorilla pod with my microphone on it. I don't know how this all got so dusty. I used it like a week ago. The mic is also broken. I haven't upgraded my equipment in so long. I feel like I'm being stupid upgrading now. It means that I don't know when my next paycheck's coming in. But at the same time, if it makes me create more and better stuff, then surely it's a good investment. I can just take a pay cut and live off my savings and not pay myself for like two months. These are the things that like I think about. If you ever wondered what it's like thinking about finances as a YouTuber, for me, this is like it. It's like, what do I invest in? Call with James. Write a post. Buy margarita mix. Okay, this is my plan. <laughs> Friday, what do we call this? Good Friday. It's a good Friday. Cheers to that. Oh, you can't cheers water, can you? Today is really beautiful. It's 23 degrees. I'm feeling better than I was yesterday. Yesterday I had a big cry and I think I just felt like overwhelmed at the fact that like, I don't know, I miss home. <laughs> it's just a lot, a lot, a lot. But this morning I had a hot cross bun in bed. I'm gonna go and read. I'm finally gonna finish this Vogue mag that I bought last week. I'm gonna do a little bit of work and we're having a fun game tonight. I know it seems like a lot of what we do is drink related, but that's kind of just what I'm documenting. Like last night, while we did make a drink, we also then just went and sat down and watched a film. Which by the way, what did we watch? It was called The Kelly, The Truth of the Kelly Gang or something. Let me know if you've seen it and what you thought of it. It had George McKay in it, who's in 1917. So I was like, oh yes, definitely wanna watch that. But I don't know if I liked it as a film. It's just a bit weird and 
stylistically strange. And then tonight, oh yeah, this is why I was gonna talk about drinking again, which makes me a bit like, ugh. Um, tonight we are doing a game where basically we each got a randomized country and now we have to buy a bottle of wine from that country and a snack from that country. And then we'll all sit around together today and have, and do like a wine tasting of each like uh, country and then try the food that that person has got for that country as well. And then we we'll pick a winner. So, you know, big moves happening tonight. <laughs> also, I've got some new products on my face. This is not the best light for it. Let me move you. So I have on my face today, um, the It Cosmetics CC Illuminating uh, Foundation, which is way thicker than I remember the original CC cream being. I ordered the illuminating one by accident, but actually I really like the finish. I think it is nice and glowy. It's definitely my kind of thing, especially for this weather where we're gonna be outdoors and, you know, in the sun. And then I've got on my cheeks the Charlotte Tilbury uh, wand, uh, blush wand that I can't remember the name of, but I love it. I think the color is peach gasm. Brows are just uh, boy brow, uh, lashes are just normal, and on my lips, I've got um, this lip oil I bought from Hourglass. So I love Hourglass, but obviously it's a pretty penny. So when you spend, you want to make sure you're getting something good. And I saw these lip like uh, treatment oils and I was like, wow, these look insane. And they were 48 pounds. So I bought one for 48 quid. Do not get me wrong. It's very nourishing, very hydrating, but do not, and I repeat, do not get the product on anything other than your lips because it sticks. I had to wash my hands three times. <laughs> I got it on my hand when I first tried it. But I think it's really nice and it is really nourishing. I don't know if I would repurchase, but we'll find out, I guess, over time, depending on how much I use it. This is Cameo, their, like, just nude pink shade. So, I was planning on filming some stuff today, but there really has been nothing to film. Oh, I cleaned. I cleaned a bit of the house. I have not cleaned this bedroom though, hence this towel here. And now I want to play some Spyro. I've been trying to edit this video up. Oh my god, let me even tell you the video saga. So after I cleaned, I was like, I'll make the thumbnail for today's video and I'll export it and everything and put the video online. It's a vlog like this one. It's the last quarantine vlog. What are we calling these? The hashtag stay home diaries. I have put a custom LUT, which is basically something that makes the colours look nice, on every single clip individually and adjusted it in this 20 minute video. I go to export it and what happens? I get this really annoying flickering in one quarter of the screen. I have no idea why it happens. It does happen sometimes. And now I'm just trying to fix it. So I decided to go and render, re render everything. And because clever me accidentally filmed some of the footage in 4K. <sighs> It's taken forever. <laughs> so while I want to get that video up tonight, chances are that will go up tomorrow, which is super annoying, but what can you do? So I'm leaving that to it. And yeah, I'm gonna play Spyro in a shock turn of events. <laughs> oh my God, also I am the luckiest gal ever because I'm on And of the Stories gifting, which is brand new and just the most exciting thing of my absolute life. Like genuinely, if you'd asked me three years ago, what were my aims from starting like full-time YouTube? I'd be like, I wanna be on And of the Stories gifting. So I'm incredibly grateful. Thank you, Rachel. Rachel's the amazing lady who organizes all the gifting. And she sent through my clothes today. Um, so I'm really excited to show you those. I think I'm actually gonna make a haul, which is like the most boring thing you can like make. Not that there's anything wrong with people who make hauls. I love watching them. But as someone who really enjoys the creative element of making videos, they're quite uncreative. Um, I guess maybe you can make it creative. I don't know, but. Here, that's a challenge. Let me show you quickly, sneak peek of the fabric of the skirt. I was hoping it would be more of like a, a off black as opposed to pure black, but it is very, very cute. So yeah. Then my thoughts. I think next time you'll see me will be during our wine tasting. It kind of looks like a seance. What are you thinking? I thought, oh, it's nice. Cool. It actually goes oh, nicely with nice. the wine. Oh, good. I think. Mm, these are really nice. Yeah, the empanadas are my favourite bit. Oh, that's so exciting. So, I, I was gonna um, tell you some facts about the wine, but I didn't know too many. So what I've done is I found a review that I thought you might enjoy. Bitter and acidic. I was disappointed. I found it bitter and acidic. Since I never tried it before, I can't ever where it, tell whether it's supposed to be like that, or it wasn't kept in proper conditions. Don't risk it again. And if you look on the screen, you can see the beautiful views of Santorini, Athens, and Corfu. What a lovely place! It's not that bad. It's not that bad at all. It's not that bad. I expected so much worse. Where's this from again? California? This 
is with straight in Cali, mate. Well, it's California. Yeah. Well, we're yeah. Cali. We're going to film this one. I'm going to film uh, this one. Wait for it, wait for it. Three, two, one. Sorority! <laughs> that is creamy. That is, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Weird! It reminds me of Yeah, it is weird. So when you drink this, you're drinking a piece of history because um, <laughs> the place that this was made is an old monastery which was fought over by two separate Spanish clans for a really long time. In the end, they came together and decided to make wine instead for the good of the greater people. So today we're trying a full-bodied Rioja from Baron de Lay. That That's is fucking nice. yummy. This is chorizo and cheese and this is a chorizo Promise. Spanish omelette. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to La France. I'm going to take you down to the country of Chateauneuf de Pan. Based amongst hey, 32 square kilometres of vineyard, this wine has been expertly produced over generations and generations. And what you're about to taste this evening, ladies and gentlemen, is quite frankly the highest regarded wine in the world. French wine, French delicacies, uh, and I'd like to invite you all to taste a bit of Chasse enough to pap. Uh, is that this is. With some beautiful cheese there. That's really nice. Actually, isn't it? I mean, it is dangerously drinkable. It's so, so nice. And uh, what you've got there. <laughs> what you've got the, there uh, is not sharp enough knives. Would someone yeah, mind right? passing Thank a gluten free oat cake? That is so good. But there you go. Thanks. Thank you. Oh, I love it. Cast your minds into Hungary. <laughs> 1067. Right, oh, so they that's after we got that's a year, after, year after William the Conqueror. Right, so you're in Hungary, it's 1067, and they've just invented the town of Toke. It's the first time anyone's ever written about this town. They've just built their first castle, it's 1535, it took fucking ages to build their first castle. Because <laughs> they were pissed the whole time on this stuff, the good stuff. And that noble <laughs> rock, when <laughs> fermented for a period of time, makes the wine incredibly sweet and they were enjoying it with chocolate tea, hazelnutty desserts, as do the rest of the Hungarians. The Amazing. traditional Hungarian way to enjoy one of these is to look every single person in the room in the eye, as you say, to your health. Quite nice! That's very nice. Very nice. That's fruity! Hello, I'm back again in the least aesthetic place in the whole world. <laughs> oh, I'm getting a call. That is my father. Hello! Hello friends, welcome to the bathroom. I just realized I have a new face mask, I really wanna try it, so I'm gonna have a little evening chat with you while we pamper. I just washed my face with the Glossier Milky J Cleanser. This is not the one I used, I've just seen this in the cupboard. This cupboard is basically where half my skincare products come to die. Uh, all my like gifted stuff that accidentally ends up here or like accidentally gets delivered to my old flat, pretty much all ends up here. This baby travel size Milky Jelly that I think we took to the skiing is in here too. This is the mask I'm gonna be trying. It's the Herbivore Prism 20% AHA, 5% BHA, Exfoliate and Glow Facial. So you only leave it on 10 minutes, which is very exciting. I've never tried one of these before, but I've always wanted to. Also the Prism range is really cool because they donate to, um, oh, they donate to the Trevor Project, that's it. And then everything's like rainbow colored. It's super lovely. This is actually the second time I've recorded here today because the first time I recorded a skincare routine ASMR audio that I sent to Dodie for her birthday. She requested that we all make ASMR videos for her. I don't know if that's common knowledge, but uh, just so you know, sorry Dodie if I've spilled a secret. But yeah, um, I um, recorded a skincare walk because I don't really like ASMR. I think it's really creepy and uncomfortable. What are the instructions? Oh, it smells so good. Of being really interested. Oh, someone's coming up here. Maybe they want a wee. <laughs> I look like a weird egg dome. Today's been my peak day of like, obsessing over interiors, which is not something I really thought would happen, but I've been especially, especially interested in watching interiors videos and going on Pinterest. And I think it's obviously because I'm feeling a bit distant from my own space, but it made me realize that's kind of how I deal with shit, is like looking to the future. 
Like I'm always just like looking forward to something I learned. Who is it? Hello. I'm also vlogging while I'm doing a face mask. Oh, I'm going for a piss. Okay, okay. well then I'll right. stop recording. That's fine, I'm out of show. Do you have anything pointy you'd yeah, like yeah, to say yeah. to the vlog? Uh, 5G causes coronavirus. <laughs> so annoying. Can I brush my teeth? Oh, okay. Cool. Hey guys, this is the difference in shot type for me and you. I may as well just finish this tomorrow. I'll tell you how the face mask was. Well, I'll be gone. I'm just going to load up my toothbrush and then leave. Well, I said my toothbrush. You can use yours. You can use your toothbrush. It's been on charge. It's better, mate. Cool. So that's good. I've been watching loads of Victorian renovation videos, like Victorian house renovations. That's really fun. Yeah, it just makes you want to buy somewhere and like do something with it. And that's quite exciting, and that's what I'm looking. Like I, I've kind of known I wanted to do it anyway. I, I have known I wanted to renovate or like decorate and own a place soon. I say soon, as soon as I can afford to. But I'm and I'm on the way to that. Well, I'm saving. <laughs> I don't know how on the way you are ever to owning a property in London. Yeah, it just has accelerated it a bit more for me. Looking forward to something like that and thinking about that future thing helps me deal with the current scenario, which is interesting because I didn't realise how forward reliant I am. How do you deal with this kind of stuff? I'm curious because like, I know not that many people deal with it like me. And he's coming back. Welcome. I didn't know I needed it. Just can't let that kind of the dog. Right? <laughs> See, this is the isolation concept we didn't know we wanted. Well, I don't know how long I've been doing this for. Not long enough. I think I'm just gonna stop recording here, but I'll chat to you tomorrow and tell you how this was. Right now, I'm a big shiny moon. In um, having your hand firmly on the table and having it above, because the first time round oh. I was on the table and I really felt it just crunch in. <laughs> so I think you've got to hover it with your hands in midair. So now I've got. To, I'll fight you because mine's <coughs> probably going to break. Okay. Oh. oh. Okay. <laughs> no. Yeah. So now it's Jack v Lucy. Oh, yeah, you win. <gasps> what? Am I just won? Yeah, you won. Yay! Yay! Not a single time. Yours has not broken at all. Yours has not broken. Lou, show us the champion egg. Julia, I'm not going to lie. Champion egg, egg that I did not die well, very well. But it's also not in focus. Okay, anyway, there you go. Champion oh, egg. Wait! It's gonna... I don't know how I feel about this eyeshadow first and foremost. I was like, oh, I'll do a nice little blue look with my dress. Okay, I think part of it might be because I tried Oskia's new Nutribronze product. Um, so I am wearing tan for the first time in a long time. I think I might try tanning again, but this is just a wash off one. But it's like quite nice, but I didn't put any eye makeup, or any skin makeup I mean on with it. Maybe I should put something under my eyes. So I think that was making the blue look extra weird. <laughs> yeah, I'm wearing my new dress from And Other Stories. I love this so, so much. I couldn't recommend it more if you are a pair like me. It's just really flattering and really nice. Uh, the boys are all cutting each other's hair downstairs. I am dreading what Jax comes out like. At home haircuts are very hit and miss. And I don't know if the boys know that. But yeah, it's Easter Sunday. We had a nice celebration this morning. Jules got us all uh, to dye some little eggs and then we smashed them on top of each other and then we had eggs for breakfast. I have never done that before, but it was really nice. Oh, also, reporting back on the mask, I don't think I left it on for long enough because it didn't really make much of a difference. Uh, my skin texture feels exactly the same as it did the day before, and I purposefully hadn't used any exfoliating products uh, for about two or three days prior. So yeah, it doesn't feel any different to normal, which is a shame because normally when I use my daily exfoliating products, you can still feel a difference. So I need to leave it on longer next time. I'm actually gonna finish my Vogue, <laughs> something I still haven't done. Anyway, my camera's about to die. Okay, so this is the last thing before I go, but oh my goodness, I shared a TikTok yesterday from the last weekly vlog, just introducing everyone in the house, and fuck me, it is growing by about 3k views every 15 minutes which is insane growth. And obviously it's a Sunday, people are chilling out and I uploaded it Saturday evening. So it makes sense that over that time frame it will get more views. But God, growth on TikTok's mad. Like I was already on 30K views when it was like midday today and it went up at 6 p.m. yesterday. So expect more TikToks coming your way. What else was I gonna say? Nope, I don't know. All right, I'll see you in a bit.